Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have a couple of whites here from, um, well, I don't know what I call them, Southern France. Uh, one of them's definitely Southern France. The second one is going to be a, a Saint Chignon uh, from the middle of the Languedoc. But the first one is uh, from Gaillac, uh, which is one of those weird parts of southwest France that isn't Bordeaux and. Uh, between Bordeaux and the Languedoc, and uh, there's uh, not quite Irby dragons and things like that, but uh, there's a little sporadic bit of wine here and a sporadic bit of wine there, and uh, they use some great varieties that you don't really find too, uh, in too many other places. So this one is 2013 uh, Clos Rocailleur uh, Gaillac, and uh, made from 100% Old Mosaic. Uh, Mosaic. Um, oh God, what can I tell you about Mosaic? Uh, they make a little bit of sparkling wine in Limou with uh, uh, with Mozak. And John Miles sang a song called Mozak Was My First Love. But apart from that, I don't really know too much else about it. Anyway, I'd better dig my nose into here. Well, funny talking about sparkling wine because uh, there's something almost yeasty about this. I don't know whether that's uh, uh, from Lee's ageing, but it seems to have got a little bit of uh, breadiness uh, alongside the crisp... Uh, Maybe a little bit of herby character in there as well. Uh, Jurançon is in this, not quite, it's not next door to Jurançon, but there's something similar here um, to what the, the wines I get, uh, the, the smells I get in Jurançon. So there's a, uh, a crisp bit, uh, and the mineral, the citrus, and then there's a sort of a richer herby bit. So maybe a little bit of fennel and something richer like guava. Crisp, tense, um, slightly nutty. Um, one of those that's, uh, that, it, it's funny, I, I, for the first time I put it in my mouth, I thought it was going to be really quite sharp. And there is this sharp edge, but then there's this richness as well. This, uh, I, I think that the, uh, the breadiness that I was picking up when I smelt it is from, is from the Lee's character. Um, an odd one, because there's, um, I, I, I don't know whether it's, it's quite as fresh as, uh, as it should be. I, I, well, I didn't see any problem with them with the cork, but it, there's, uh, it's almost as if there's, a, there's this bruised green apple feel to, to, to the flavours, as if maybe a little bit of air has got in, or maybe that's supposed to be the style. It's, I find it interesting rather than fine. I'm going to have another sip. Mm, yeah, um, I think that's one I'm going to have to come back to, because uh, at the moment I'm not sure how much I like it. I like bits of it, but um, and it may be that that, that little ed edge of apple oxidation um, stays there, but the rest of the wine grows around it. So I'll try some of that a bit later. Uh, wine number two. So we are in the Languedoc here. Chateau Viranel, uh, 2014 saint chignon uh, Tradition. And from what I remember, main grape here, Grenache Blanc. Uh, and there's a little bit of uh, Vermentino, Roussan and Bourboulon, something like that in there. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. This smells richer and riper, and there's uh, things about like pears, pears and just ripe peaches, things like nectarines in there, and there's a floral character as well. Um, it doesn't smell, uh, it, it, it's weird, it's, I'm not sure what the difference is in alcohol. It smells, it smells almost lighter and fresher, but um, it's from a warmer part of the world. Uh, and it may just be that um, it's, it's that year younger. See, the first one's only 12%, this one's 13 and a half, but it still smells like it's got this freshness. Yeah, rich, round, slightly honeyed. Um, the fatness of Grenache Blanc giving that broad, peachy, um, I was talking about just ripe peach, bit of nectarine there as well. And then some of those other grapes in there are lending a little bit of a stony backbone. So I don't know whether it's the Vermentino that's adding uh, not quite a volcanic edge to it, but uh, yeah, this stony backbone and a little bit of freshness from... Uh, the Bourboulonc in there as well. And maybe, I mean, Roussan is the one that uh, often comes across with this musky pear character. So maybe there's a little bit of that. I prefer that to uh, the Rocailleur. I mean, both of them are interesting, but I mean, in terms of the one I'm going to reach for tonight, yes, I'll have a glass of the Viranelle, but uh, I'll come back to the Rocailleur and see, um, see what's happening to it and a report back. See you soon.